Hello, everyone, and welcome to the preview show between the Colorado Christian Cougars and the Westminster Griffins. My name is Spencer Pattison. Alongside me, Gordon Bartolik, CCU, starting off their season six and seven so far, two and five in RMAC play. Um, but they're number one team for rebounds per game in the RMAC, so that's definitely something to look out for. Uh, Westminster, a little bit better of a record, seven and six overall, and five and two in RMAC play. They had, a, they had a really tough non-conference schedule playing some ranked teams nationally, um, but they've proven that they're a good team with their RMAC play, so it's going to be a tough test for the Cougars. Yeah, definitely, Spencer. Now, take you through the history of these two teams. CCU is 3-6 and six overall against Westminster. Last year's matchup, uh, CCU unfortunately lost that one 66-59. to 59. A little bit of a close game, but uh, Agnes Paul in that game, she had seven points and uh, four rebounds, and Ashley Greenwood for Westminster, she had 16 points, six rebounds, and four assists. Speaking of Ashley Greenwood, my goodness, is she a phenomenal ball player. She is so fun to watch. She knows how to get it done on the court. I mean, just look at these stats. Number 24, Ashley Greenwood, averaging 17.1 points per game, leading the RMAC in points per game. Phenomenal. She's also third in the RMAC for rebounds per game with 8.1. Um, to go along with that, ninth in the RMAC for assists per game with 3.2. I mean, she's getting it done everywhere. She's such a phenomenal player, almost averaging a double-double, and uh, she's, she's just a fun player to watch. Now, number 13, Lindsey Rich for Westminster. She's averaging 12.1 points, 6.4 rebounds. And then number 25, 25, Elizabeth Means. She's averaging 8.8 .8 points per game and 5.3 rebounds. I mean... Those three players right there, they're great rebounders, great scorers. It's going to be really, really tough to stop this team. Yeah, definitely, Spencer. Their, their last game, by the way, was a 64-58 to win against the Colorado State University in Pueblo. So a uh, good result for them. And yeah, and Ashley Greenwood in that game, she had 13 points and a whopping 17 rebounds. Man, that's definitely the one player you're going to need to look out for for uh, Westminster, but now we'll look out for some of the key players you need to look out for your Cougars, starting off with number 22, Maggie Phipps, leading CCU with 10 points per game in her short three games she's played with them. And I mean, she's just been an amazing addition to this team, three games already, and she's already leading the team in points. Yeah, I mean, she's so fun to watch. She's such a great shooter. Coming in to a team middle of the season is not easy. No. You have to build chemistry and it looks like in the three games that she's been with them, they've built a lot of chemistry. They they work really well together. She's been in the lineup. She she started the last game, so that that, that was phenomenal. Yep, that, that tells me that the coach puts a lot of trust into her. So uh, moving on, number 10, Agnes Paul, averaging eight points per game, with, and she's fourth in the RMAC with 8.4 rebounds. So she's definitely up there as one of the best rebounders for the team. Oh, yeah, I mean, she's one of the best rebounders in the nation. In the nation. And then finally, number one, Nicole Bolin. Bolin is one of the biggest pieces to this team as a freshman. I want to mention that. She's just a freshman, and she's playing so great recently. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's such a great facilitator. She gets the job done. Yeah, it brings a lot of energy. She's averaging 6.5 rebounds, 3.1 rebounds, leading the team with 5.5 assists. Phenomenal. Well, um, CCU's last game. Uh, they, they, had a, they had a tough game, 75 to 62 loss versus Colorado School of Mines, number 12 in the nation, Colorado School of Mines, so obviously a tough test. Um, they, they kept it close in the first half. They played a really good first half, but ended up losing control against that suffocating Colorado School of Mines defense. Um, Maggie Phipps, we say her name uh, multiple times. She had 21 points and five rebounds in her first start for the Cougars. Desaya Jones had 11 points and six rebounds as well. So big game is a tough loss, but you know it was a tough test to play against the number 12 team in the nation, and they proved that they can play pr some pretty good basketball. Yeah, definitely. So, when you play a team that's nationally ranked right. in Division II basketball, it's going to be a really tough test. Probably the I'd, I'd say that's probably the biggest test that CCU have faced this season. Oh, yeah. So far and probably for the rest of the season, they still play Colorado School of Mines one more time, I believe. Uh, so keys to the win. Keys to win for the Cougars. Um, 
they need to keep rebounding. They're number one in the RMAC. Uh, especially, they need to keep rebounding on the offensive side. They need to keep getting those offensive boards, get those second chance points. That's what's going to win you this game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, another key to the game is uh, the free throw line. It's named a free throw line for a reason. CCU is shooting 66% from the free throw line, which is 13th out of the 15 teams in the RMAC. So they need to up that number up a little bit. Most definitely. Um, now the third key of the game, the Griffins have the best field goal percentage in the RMAC. So the defense from the Cougars has to be tight, has to be suffocating. They really need to be top notch. Most definitely. That'll do it for the preview show here. Um, every, everybody enjoy the game Friday night. It should be a good one. Go Cougs.